I'm really bad at updating my TB Red or I don't really have a TB Red or my wrap up because I forget about it and kind of um, job life. So it's another quick review because I first watched a series on Netflix called Kiss Me First. It pictures on my computer, so I'll probably edit in picture if I had the time. No, I would make myself with this. So do it. Thank you. I love it. And then I found out that you read the little trailer, the intro, and you said based on novel by some girl named Alan Parker. <laughs> but the novel by Kiss. Also named Kiss Me First. And I chose to watch this here on Netflix because I saw that it is was in together with Channel 4, which is a British, a British channel, which have made my favorite young adult series. There is a skin, it's my pet diary, Miss Bits, it's like everyone the good one. All really good series is from about youth and it's I think they did the end of the fucking world. So it's like, I would probably like this. And I didn't enjoy it. Not as much as the other ones. But it was a good one. So it's like, finished it. And I'm like, okay, let's see how the book is. And I was like, oh, oh, oh. Okay. You realize quite right away that it, it isn't. They took like... Oh, the character. Oh, it's name Leah from... No, Lila. Sorry, just L's and A's and things. So Lila, they took away and they took Kiss Me First, title. They took um, her mother being dead and she killed her mother. And they took Tess and made her lose some years. Because she's like 30, 40 in the book. But she's about 26. Five or something close to taste to light on, and they also hinting about them having some lovely thing with a poster that is very nice, but doesn't happen in the fucking thing. It's I feel like it's queer baiting because <laughs> it's barely any queerness. The only thing that's closest to that, but she isn't in the novel, so it's totally fine. I don't remember. And they took the um, nemesis, the, the evil guy, made him younger, made him um, not a public face, because the thing on Kiss Me First the Novel is that it's a website, not a game that they are doing. And this website is a forum, it's like flashback or Reddit or whatever. And got in the portion. Basically. And you post and discuss things and being intelligent. And if you tell them, you have to be a special group which you pay to comment and being intellectual. And then this Andrew guy being like, oh my god, you're so smart. And you think that the humans have the right to decide when to die. So would you want to pretend to be Tess while she gets to her family want to give back? <coughs> and if you've seen the series, there's spoilers everywhere. But basically, it's a virtual reality game. Red Pill, the site is named Red Pill. Special little off group is named Red Pill, where it has another off kids. And they basically took the suicide and making people feel suicidal or helping people that is suicidal to commit suicides or encouraging. It's the same thing, but he's really making them do this because it's like he's like really like oh this is gonna be great and like showing them how to do things but <laughs> so basically this Connor I think they made a Connor I think just into a character that is a Lemon character but then they find Mama and then has something like that. Then a flat is in both and the Indian has restaurant has more of a thing in the series and it's on the horror apartment and the film and it's basically they just took the 
premise. Without the premise, they took the character, without the characters, characteristics of the characters, they took the names and the basic idea for the things, but just made it more modern. Because I think this book came out, it's 2000 something. Or 2000, sorry. But it's like, I think it's 10 years or something. I think. And it's made it more modern. And the book is fine. And it is good. But it's like, yeah, and title. I don't really know why the series is called Kiss Me First. Is it because it's based on the novel? But the novel is meaning that Tess and her ex boyfriend Connor, which later starts to talk with, used to say it because it was in a movie. A movie. And it just just became a thing that they said, and he started saying it, she started saying it. So probably premise of the title. <laughs> it's not really a premise. It's just a title. It's the weird thing with the title really has nothing to do with the plot. But I gave I don't I don't give a movement. Yes, I think I wore a game two star trees. I don't remember. But as always, that is just my opinion. <laughs> I never say that. But thank you for the quick. This is more a quick thing. I would do it more the uh, working on a more in depth video to be on my other channel with voiceover and like um, real investigation and the science behind it. So um, thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next probably quick video.